Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to focus on how you re how I design my knobs for the throttle mixture and propeller. Now, I know the Cessna 172 doesn't have a propeller knob, but because I use sometimes planes that do have a propeller handle, I wanted to in I wanted it in there just you know so that I could use the planes well without having to create a completely separate throttle box for that one. I'm just going to be looking at how I design these in Autodesk Fusion. 60 um, and then they're going to be printed and then we're going to stick them on little 8 millimeter steel shafts they also have these little insets there we go to really get that Cessna feeling I put this one in a bit too deep but you get it rough so we're going to be looking at the throttle mixture and propeller so if you want to keep updated subscribe and I hope you have fun so let's take a look how we're going to design our little throttle heads on the end of the sticks. And for that I'm going to be using Autodesk Fusion 360. They have a free plan uh, available and that's what I use because, you know, I'm not a professional. So the first thing I want to do is create a little hole as reference for the iron bars. Like, grab one. these. I know the, the diameter, they're 8 millimeters, but we want a little bit of clearance because if we 3D print it, it's going to be a little bit smaller always a hole. I'm going to make it 8.2. I kind of cheated because I checked this with a little hole I printed just to see if it was the right value, but 8.2 is a really snug fit and make sure that it doesn't move anywhere. So the second thing we want is, let's see if we can grab a Cessna or mixture. I'm gonna work on the mixture first. So it's always good to have some reference material, right? So here we have, you see we have a little shafty thingy, a bigger outer handle with some patterns on top, right? I think in one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. I'm gonna stick with six. So that's what we want in our model as well. So I'm going to offset this by, let's say, 2 millimeters. So now our shaft is going to be 2 millimeters thick. Ah, 2.8. Very small, so I'm even going to scale it up to 4, I think. Yeah, that's right. 4. Uh, yeah, 4. So this already gives us a shaft to work with. So all we do is extrude, put it up um, five millimeters. Why not? I don't want them to be too big. I want them to be reasonable sized. I'm gonna put a construction pane on top. And I'm gonna. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Now I'm gonna extrude once again. There we go. And I'm gonna extrude by. Extrude by 20, I think. Oh. It's two centimeters. See? So they're not probably the accurate, you can't see, but two centimeters is fine. Now I'm gonna split this body. Body to split, one selected, splitting two. I'm gonna cut it at this point. So, okay, oh, no body, this one. And the splitting tool is gonna to be this one. So, okay, now we have two parts. What we're gonna do now is pull this one out until we have about 30 centimeters in diameter. So, um, let's see. Oh. So, 22. Let's pull out a little bit more. We can do the moths on this, or we can just wing it. 27, so a little bit more. It's a bit too much, I think. 
There we go. 31.20. Is that fine enough? Yeah, that's fine with me. If we're able to tell, we already have the kind of a shape, right? Now, I want to create another circle on top. There we go. It is 31, so minus 4, because I want an, let's say, a ring of 2 millimeters. Yeah. So 31 minus 4 is 37. 27. There we go. I could all measure this out really precise, but I just want to show you how I design these things. Now, if we take a look at the hole in the middle, you can see that if I pull it back too far, that there isn't it isn't going to connect with each other. So I want to still have a little layer in the bottom to connect with the base stem, this one, um, to make sure that it's going to be one piece. But I also want to keep as much, I use as much plastic as needed. So that's why I'm going to put it all the way down. And we're going to put a little top on it, uh, cap, you know, like the, here we go. As we can see here, a little cap on it to use as a button. Um, I'm not going to be implementing the button um, because I really have no clue how it feels and works in real life. So for my preference, I'm just going to go with a pull configuration and push i'm going to skip the rotating part for now perhaps later on i'm going to figure out something for the rotating part but for now i'm going to skip that let's see You're able to tell that there's quite some smooth edges as well let's see if we have a real cessna fake but we can tell yeah also here they are really smooth they aren't really these hard edges like we have here so we're going to do a little fillet Select the edge, let's start with two millimeters and do the same for here. Here we go. So now we have a nice cylinder, smoother edges like we saw in the picture. Now we still need to create those little um, things on top. So how are we going to do that? We're going to create a tangent plane, place it on here, create a sketch on it. So let's say this one, and I'm mostly rigging it to be centered, but I think it's actually pretty centered. I made it two millimeters in width because it sounds like what I want, but I'm not sure. I'm going to extrude it, um, join, yeah, two millimeters, is it going to be too much? No, it's going to be fine. So, now we have one. I think we want six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go with six. So once again, we're going to be filleting like crazy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And here, here, and here. Okay, 1.5. This seems about right, right? Right, right. Okay, now we take these, 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 these. these. Come on. These. And I want these. And I want this one. There's probably an easier way to do this, but. So now I've select, almost selected all these shapes. Now it's going to be real easy. Create pattern, circular pattern. And I want it. Revolved around this one. Oh, but no. I don't want this. Yeah, okay. Axis, this one. So now we have three, but we want to up it to six. Hit OK. I think it's starting to look actually like a mixture knob, right? Now we still need a little cap in the middle. 
So surface, I'm going to put it in a little patch. So let's create sketch from the middle of the patch. Oh, no, no, no. Here we go. I keep selecting the wrong axis. There we go. So it's 27 in diameter, 26. And I want a little bit of clearance. So I'm going to make this 26, even maybe 26.4. Perhaps it's going to be a bit of a too loose fit, but this is a, such a small part that we can always you know, do it again. Make it two millimeters, uh, minus two. Here we go. And now it has a little outer edge. One millimeter, one and a half, one and a half. Let's see. Create sketch so on top of this circle. Gotta create another circle. So 26.5 minus 3 is 23.5. Here we go. And the outer circle, I'm just gonna extrude as well by two millimeters. Or is that too much? Let's do 1.5. Shall we? Oh, but no, I'm gonna push it down. Minus 0 0.5. Here we go. So now this pain is gone. What we could do is grab this body, because this is a body in itself, right? It's a, a loose object compared to this one which is what we want, so we're going to modify bodies, this one. I'm going to move it in just slightly. Here we go. So now just to be complete, we could do... Um, see... Appearance, is that the correct one? Yeah. Plastic. Let's say ABS, I'm going to go with PLA, but I don't really care. Uh, now it's became white, I want another color. How do I do that? Mm -hmm. Edits, okay, here we go. A red color. And here we go. See, so as we're able to tell, we now have. No, no I don't want to do that. Um, there we go, appearance. Maybe it's white, yeah, why not? Go ahead, let's, let's make it. Do they have like silvery? Well, grayish. Um, here we go. So, what we've actually done is we've created our mixture knob. I think it looks pretty damn close to the real thing. Let's take a look. Yeah. Perhaps the shaft is a little bit shorter, but in my case, I didn't want to have like those big knobs. I could always just. No, extrude this a little bit more. Oh, no, cancel. Extrude this. Pull it out. And create a little bit more. See? Perhaps even a bit too much. Three. Here we go. And that's how we create a mixture. And now we could actually just apply the same principle to the... How do you call it? The other one. I already got it here, the propeller. Um, but just to give you a quick example of how to do it, I'm going to fast forward this part because you already saw it with the... Here we go.
Okay, so this is the part where it differs a bit. Um, last time we had a little, little small line. Now we're gonna go a little bit bigger. Um, let's try this one. There we go. Now we want to pull it out. I want to pull it out in the back so that it hits the. There you go. And I want it to be. I want to fill it this side, no, not this side. There you go. So what we see, we get a slope. So I actually want to fill it both. I need to select both because then I know both will be the same length and I can't mess it up. See what happens. Could make this as wide as I want, but perhaps this would be a good solution. So now, once again, we select these, we do create a pattern, circular pattern, and I'm gonna wrap it around this axis. And I'm gonna do one, four, five, six. Okay. Okay, this one is a bit too wide, I think, so I'm going to change that. Oh, I should have worked with the constraint. Okay, here we go, here we go. Which then we're going to move it down to 8, and that means that we can move this one up. Okay. Now finish sketch, now it will be smaller. Perhaps the gap or the fillet is going to be too big, I'm not quite sure. Creates a pattern, a circular pattern around an axis. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Look, perfect, okay. So now we have this. We could even, I think, extend this to 10 now. Let's see. Yeah, fine. Let's see, it's just a bit of a, you know, exactly like this, yes. Um, now we fill it these. Also, just go back in time for the pattern. Apply fillet here and here. Slight curvature. This one as well. Oh, no, no. Cancel these two. Something like this. I don't know. Yeah, fine. See, it applies to pattern. Once again, gonna create a sketch on top. Remove the center. Extrude this ring in a C, leave a little contact space in there. And I believe you've created a mixture now. I don't have blue plastic, but you know, I'm going to color it blue anyway, so we know what it is. Here we go. So that's how easy it actually is to create a mixture and propeller knob. Now I know this Cessna 172 doesn't have a propeller. Uh, well, it does have a propeller, but not a handle. But I wanted it in there anyway, so if I switched planes, I could easily still use the same throttle box without having to create a new one. I'm not talking about a Boeing or a Airbus, of course, that has a completely different approach than 
uh, just a simple push-pull lever but for me this will do because um, I still have no clue what I'm doing regarding flying now these two parts will come out I do have to say um, not completely correct and that's because oh, there we go. I still need to extrude this part Two millimeters join. What it's gonna do is if I join this, it's gonna be one part. See? So now this is one object. Because right here I need to do that as well. Because these are three parts and we only want it to be two parts. Cancel. I don't want to select this. Show the body, it's a join. So now we have two bodies this one and this one. That's how we designed these um, quick and simple. I did the throttle as well. I think, yeah, here we go. This one is a bit too much. Airport, so I move it so you can actually see. Oh, okay. doesn't matter. Um, so if you just hide this one, did I make this one smooth? Yeah, that is fine. Um, this will be the throttle, as we're able to tell in this one. It's just a little more. There we go. I just checked many reference materials like these, the original ones that you can buy for the airplane itself and they are based on these ones so yeah um, I will put the 3D files in the video below and you guys can print them as well if you like um, for all of you that enjoyed it please leave a like and if you keep up there, subscribe I'm gonna be working on getting these bad boys onto linear potentiometers and creating the throttle um, controller. If you want to keep updated with the project, don't forget to subscribe down below, hit the little bell icon, and I hope to see you in the next one.